One of the more confusing aspects of Power BI is using the DAX or data analysis expressions. In this YSL short, we're gonna look at how we can remove different filters from your reports, allowing you to do things like returning your total of percentages, working out averages, and more. The first thing to understand about filter context is how it actually works. In this case, what we have is two different visuals, a card and a chart. The card has no current filters on it. We haven't applied anything. There's no filters on the pane. There's no filters on the visual. 62,000 units is our total. As soon as we add this into a visual, however, we've added one of our filters. In this case, our column is the region name of Southeast on this column or West Midlands on this column. The idea being that in our model view, this is telling us all of the relationships between our tables. So if I look over here, the table that's being filtered is the region table. Since there is a relationship between it and the town table, the town table gets automatically filtered. That in turn filters the center table, which in turn filters the purchase table. We have both a direct filter on the region table and indirect filters on all of the connected tables. So what we need to do to change this filter is actually tell it to include or ignore it. In this scenario, what I would like to do is I would like to compare each of my regions to London each time. To do this, I'm going to create myself a new measure. Right click on whichever table you want to create your measure in and choose new measure. If you want to zoom in, hold control and scroll your mouse wheel away or use the plus and minus icon. I'm going to call this difference to London. If you want to go into a new line, shift and return. If there's one function that you want to remember when getting into manipulating DAX, it's going to be calculate. Calculate will allow me to add, remove, or change existing context, which is just a fancy way of saying filters. The expression that I want to calculate can be a function that I write myself now, or it can even be another measure. So I'm going to go with it nice and simple, sum of quantity. Comma. The filters are the part that are going to do all the work. So in this scenario, what I would like to do is replace the existing filter on my region name column. And I would like to replace that filter with London. So that means on every single one of these columns, instead of showing me whichever region was on there, it's going to show me London. Let's check that worked. I'm going to add this into my card. And I'm going to add it into my visual. And I can see that's giving me London every single time. A side effect of this is now whenever I apply a filter, this is going to overwrite whatever filter I pass in. So, for example, if I was to add in a slicer with my region name, or if I was to use a tree map, it would then be ignored by whatever I click on. So if I click on Northwest, instead of showing me the total for Northwest, it's only showing me the total for London. Now I wanted the difference to London, so that's nice and easy to change. I'm gonna go up to my measure, and if that returns London, whatever I initially pass in will return the original column. So if I pass in the sum of quantity, that is the sum of quantity being affected by the original column. So for example, East Anglia, that's the total sales for East Anglia. I'm going to take away from that the sum of quantity, but with the original filter of region name being replaced with London. So this should give me the difference to each of my columns to London. So effectively what I'm doing is in the background, 
on my visual, there was a filter on my region table that said, hey, I want to look at East Anglia. That in turn filtered all of the towns to only East Anglia. I've left that the same for my first calculation, the sum of quantity. But for the second one, I've effectively gone in and I've said, no, 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 no. London, please. And that's returned London, which is felt at the town table, which is felt at the centre table, which is felt at the purchase table where my sum of quantity is calculated, allowing me to replace the existing filter with a new one. This has lots of effects that you can use. For example, one that's often asked for is, I would like to see the average of my regions. We have a total of 62,000 units sold in nine different regions. So what we're gonna do is divide one by the other. Go to your measure table, right click, new measure. I'm gonna use the drop down to give myself more space. Average units sold by region equals. If I'm just looking at a card, there are no other filters on there. So I could simply say the sum of quantity and I could say divided by the count of how many regions there are. So the count of region ID. That would give me the average of my 62,000. That would give me the average of my 62,000 divided by my nine. How would that go down though in my visual? Well, let's have a look. I'm gonna add the exact same calculation, which gives me the correct answer here into my line values. And suddenly it's no longer giving us that useful number. It's giving us this weird wavy line. The reason for that is we didn't remove any filters because on the card there wasn't one. But as soon as we added it into a visual, whether that's a table, a funnel chart, or in this case, a column chart, that filter is now being included. If we look at the DAX, that means this sum of quantity is returning the sum of quantity for Southeast divided by the count of regions, which for Southeast is one. Because remember, what we're doing is filtering that region table. So the total of the filtered purchase table, the total of regions that have been filtered. To change this, what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm going to need to use my calculate on both of these. So I'm gonna say calculate my sum of quantity, comma, and then to remove the filter, I'm going to say all. Now there's a couple of types of all. All removes the filters, whether they're inside of the visual or outside. Inside would mean you've literally added it to the field well somewhere. Outside would be it's a slicer or it's cross highlighting. Maybe it's drill through. It's some other source. All selected makes that difference. It keeps the external filters, the ones caused by slicers or by the filter pane, and removes only the internal ones. So the ones called cause, the ones caused by the column itself. In this case, I'm just going to go for all. The thing that I want to remove the filters on is the region table. Again, you can also choose to remove filters on a specific column. So I could have said region name there as well. The difference would be if you've applied a filter to one column or multiple columns in that table. The all keyword removes all the filters and it's not actually tied to calculate. If I go to my count, I'm going to swap this instead of counting a single column, which is the more efficient way to do it. I'm going to do count rows all, I'm going to type in the table name region. So count rows takes in a table and counts how many rows there are. All is going to remove all the filters on that table. For scenarios like this, you'll definitely want to use the same all for both. For most scenarios like this, 
you'll want to use the same all for both. Hit return. And if I look there, my answer inside of the card hasn't changed because the calculation is the same. There was no filters on this to remove. However, the one inside of my visual has changed. So I'm removing the filter of southeast so I can count the region table when they're all there. One of the hardest things for people to get their head around is this idea of your removing filters. If you were using something like SQL, then you use the WHERE clause to add filters. If you were using a table in Excel, then you want to add filters. Well, Power BI actually does all the adding for you. We're often removing the filters, although you can add some as we saw on the previous page. I hope you found this useful. Do let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.